All right, so this final segment, let's talk about how to shop for tranexamic acid because you guys are intrigued, right? Yes. All right, so we'll be honest. Um, this is another one that's not going to be, we're going to say you have to have this in your routine. Right. We see this really as that solid secondary active to and add in. to be fair, for hyperpigmentation actives, I don't think we'll ever be like, this is it, guys. You need this. It, the no, reality is it's a kitchen sink no approach way. there. Yeah. So the more, it's just one of those conditions that more is more. Mm. But we'll say that like in our actives here, even though it's not a main squeeze, it's a very solid secondary active. For sure. Um, in terms of amount you need, it's not insignificant. You really want to look for anything between two to five, although a lot of the data seems to be around 5%. Right. In terms of shopping landscape, we're just going to name a few. So... Of course, we have to give a shout out to our very own product gold standard, which does have 5% tranexamic acid. We pair that with glycolic acid um, because an exfoliant is something that's also pretty important in your hyperpigmentation routine. SkinCeuticals discoloration defense also does a blend of 3% tranexamic acid with 5% niacinamide and 1% kojic acid. Speaking of the kitchen sink approach, this is one of them. <laughs> yes. Uh, Naturium has a 5% tranexamic acid serum that's pretty straightforward. Mm -hmm. Pharmacy has a 3% uh, tranexamic acid toner. I think both of these are great in terms of, you know, you just want to supplement your routine a little mm -hmm. bit. They're pretty vanilla, easy products to just try it out. Yeah. Should also mention that the Inky has a 2% one. Overall, I think we recommend definitely giving those ingredient lists a skim because a lot of these are going to be um, coming with other actives. Um, you will probably, I guarantee, will have some overlap, um, most likely in niacinamide. Um, some include vitamin C's and even AHAs like R. So just something to keep in mind. Yes. And I will say niacinamide is a big, I don't want to use the word offender, but it's definitely in a lot of hyperpigmentation products. Yeah. So, it's, yeah, sure. so if you suddenly add, the, add a product to your routine, you experience uh, irritation it might not be the active you think it is it might just be one too many good things like nice and might as far as you know how to use it um this is really going to depend on the product type but um just a reminder that the this seems to be tested uh, more often at twice daily use versus once a day so this is you know if you're using let's say like an atrium toner pharmacy toner you can definitely use that morning and night 